Welcome. Uh, as you know, the Red Cross is a very important part of our uh, health and lives here in South Carolina as well, as, well as, the, as the country and, and around the world. And we very much appreciate all of that great work, and especially those that we work with here in the state. And for that reason, uh, accompanied by Ms. Williams and my wife Peggy and others, Peggy's on the, the board, I would like to issue this, read this proclamation, State of South Carolina Governor's Proclamation. Whereas every year the American Red Cross responds to an average of more than 62,000 disasters across the country, from small home fires to devastating massive disasters, including last year's large crises of destructive hurricanes in the Carolinas, Florida, Georgia, and along the Gulf Coast, wildfires in California, tornadoes and floods in the Midwest with thousands of American Red Cross volunteers providing around-the-clock shelter for disaster victims, serving millions of meals and snacks with partners, and distributing millions of relief items, and whereas the Palmetto, South Carolina region of the American Red Cross has a long history of helping our neighbors in need by delivering shelter, care, and hope during disasters, making our community safer through its life-saving home fire campaign, providing life-saving blood, teaching skills that save lives, and supporting military veterans and their families. And whereas, every day people in our community depend on the American Red Cross, whose life-saving mission is powered by the devotion of volunteers, generosity of donors, and partnership of community organizations, and whereas, the Palmetto, South Carolina region, assisted with nearly 2,400 local disasters in the past year alone and helped save 76 lives through the Home Fire Campaign, working with community partners to install more than 80,000 free smoke alarms since the campaign launched in October 2014. And whereas, in addition to supplying 60% of the blood in our state, and collecting nearly 80,000 units of life-saving blood last year. The Red Cross has trained nearly 40,000 people in life-saving skills and CPR first aid and swimming. And whereas, the organization continues to assist our active duty service members, veterans, and their families, providing more than 14,200 services to military members and veterans last year. And whereas, March is American Red Cross Month a time to recognize a humanitarian organization that eases people's suffering during life's emergencies in South Carolina, across the United States, and around the world. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim March 2020 as Red Cross Month throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to celebrate the Red Cross and its humanitarian mission to help our neighbors when they need a helping hand and recognize the volunteer heroes and supporters who make the vital work to prevent and alleviate human suffering in the face of emergencies possible. Signed by me, proud, happy governor of South Carolina, and Ms. Louise Welch Williams. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Okay, if you please. Yes, sir. Thank you, Governor. Uh, we thank you and the great state of South Carolina for the great partnership that we've enjoyed over the years. We have joining us today our board member, the First Lady, and Dan Sissom from the local board, along with some of our senior leadership for South Carolina. Great partnerships. Um, we've had a lot of practice in South Carolina, and we, it's made close relationships, and we appreciate it. Storms like Dorian, uh, Spartanburg tornado a couple of weeks ago. The Red Cross and their government partners always work together. We appreciate that. Whether it's serving our military, teaching first aid, health and safety courses, we, we always try to be there for South Carolinians. We are very proud to hold the record across the nation in South Carolina for the most lives saved with our smoke alarm installs. And we do that again with our firefighters in South Carolina and our other partners. So a lot to be proud of in South Carolina. With, as concerns increase from COVID-19, we do ask that anybody that's healthy and eligible to please give blood uh, or platelets in South Carolina. So we wanna prevent the blood shortage 
from, from getting into South Carolina. So we do urge healthy and eligible individuals to get blood. And we thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Any questions? Okay. Thank you for coming. <laughs>